is up folks welcome to another edition of Billy the Kids no bullshit toy reviews and today courtesy of Shozy store we are taking a look at the X Transbots Master X series 85 scientist Jansen or masterpiece scaled Perceptor. Now I've had this figure for a few days and I had to hold off on the review because I really had to put thought into what I have to say about this figure. Um, I'm going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. And there's a lot to talk about. This is going to be a longer one, guys. First things first, he comes with a booklet uh, for his instructions and you could just take that and throw it in the fucking trash because it is horrible. Pictures aren't detailed enough to show you what to do. I strongly recommend a video uh, tutorial or direction in regards to transforming it. it it's just, that manual is fucking terrible. He comes with a preview book, um, as well as missing pages from the instructions of upcoming figures from X Transbots. So that's pretty cool. comes with a bio card. Here you go. This is the same text spec as on the back of the box. So if you'd like to read it, there it is. He comes with a flask, a beaker, test tube, a ton of different options for his face. It's just easier to do it this way. He comes with a smiley face, a uh, speaking face, two different screams, uh, and a static face, as well as the one that came attached. He also comes with two IDW heads, and those are absolutely beautiful. He comes with a gun similar to his old toy, his Gen 1 toy, and this you just piece together. He comes with a tune accurate gun, and he comes with a shoulder cannon with firing missile and a blast effect. He has no problem holding any of his accessories. They just fit right in just like um, conventional masterpieces. They tab right in. So there you go. Holds that just fine. He also comes with what I think are his best accessories. And that's miniature versions of Brawn, Bumblebee, himself as a robot and himself as a microscope. And this absolutely brings a whole new meeting to playing with yourself. <laughs> but it, it's cool. Um, they're not scaled small enough to be like in that episode where they shrink and go into Megatron but they are scaled perfectly for the um, city bots from Transform Hasbro's Transformers generations and all that. He looks great. They look great with Skylinks. They look great with uh, Jetfire and they're just really nice. Before I get into the figure, beautiful box art. Let's just move this shit up. This is the side of the box. Another view of this side. The back has beautiful art on the back. And again, there is that text back. As for this figure itself, it's painted beautifully. Looks really good. Uh, one of my complaints are about the paint. Uh, it has this matte finish here on all the red and on his face and helmet and all that. And then the blue is a metallic blue. If they were going for this hyper tune look, this should have been more of a matte finish, just a flat matte blue. Uh, that would have looked way better in my opinion. Aside from that, the build is fantastic. Die cast in the legs, die cast in the chest, the plastics feel good. Uh, engineering wise uh, or design wise, he looks great. I mean, front to back, he looks like he jumped off the screen. A little bulky, but it doesn't bother me. Cool feature here, this extends and retracts, so that's working as well. You can look through here and this works 
So that's pretty cool. Well, you can at least look through it. It's not going to magnify anything. But it really does uh, give you a clear view. Uh, aside from that, it's frustrating as well. And it's all due to the transformation. That's what held me up. So I'm going to get into the robot and then we're going to... I'm actually going to record a transformation for you guys because it's just that instruction booklet doesn't work. Head looks up. Head doesn't really look down. You get the left to right and it's on a hinge so there's no ball joint. There is a hollow bit in the next section but you don't really notice it when he's posed up on the shelf. And here he has his butterfly joints and his bend at the shoulder. The shoulders are ratcheted. There's a bicep swivel. Double bend at the elbow. This moves, which is pretty rad. The wrists rotate and come out quite a bit. The thumb is very well designed, but mine on uh, his left hand is very loose. But I wish Takara would do something like that. I like that the thumb works. Posable on all of his digits, and I'm cool with that. The index, the pointer finger is on its own hinge, uh, moves on its own, moves freely, and does well. I just wish that the finger wasn't bent. These other three fingers are on their own post, and yeah, I mean, they, they're posable enough. The hands work. You've got a full waist rotation, a very, very, very strong ab crunch. <sighs> this is where it gets a little frustrating in robot mode. Let's flip these up. Hips only come out this far. Okay. Backwards kick, forward kick. Very limited in um, the articulation here at the upper leg, at the hips, I guess we'll say. I'm not sure if that was just from the transformation design or why, but I, I, I'm not a fan of that. There is a thigh swivel, and these don't really stay together. I don't know if it's from the weight here, but both of the thighs like to separate. It's just frustrating. It, it takes away from how it looks. The knee has an excellent bend. You've got a toe that goes up and down. That's die cast as well. And you've got an excellent rocker. The figure itself is very poseable and it does look like he jumped off the screen. And that's the best thing about him. Plastic quality paint, all that's good. But this robot mode, the look of this is why you're going to buy it. And if you don't care about transforming this figure, you'll be happy. But um, you're definitely going to feel some frustration when you're transforming this guy. So I'm going to get into it. We're going to talk about his microscope mode. And then we're going to talk about his tank mode, which is fucking whatever, they put it in out of respect to the original toy, but I really don't think it's necessary. And then I'll give you the final thoughts. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is put the hands the way that he came uh, in the box. And you're just gonna close them up so that they can tuck away nice and neat. But the other thing you're gonna want is a spudger because a lot of this stuff is very tight and um, very hard to get to. Flip this panel out. We're going to tuck these hands away. And 
I'm gonna slide these up. All right, so ultimately he is going to look like this. Now, what you're going to do is flip this piece up. And if you can get this tab out, and take this tab here out. And that is gonna let you pull the entire arm down like so. You're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna take this tab out, be careful. That's all I can say. Pull that up. We're gonna pull this arm down. It's gonna look like this. Next thing you wanna do is open up his chest. Get this piece up here. Open up his neck area. Now that you have that, you're going to fold this piece up here at his head. Pull this piece up here on his back. Straighten that out down here. So Ultimately, you're just going to work this piece out. So it should sort of look like this. Now we're going to rotate this head and tuck this piece down. So like so. We're going to flip this like this, and this piece is going to come up Cover up his head, like so. Right, next thing I want to do is just close this down to make it a little easier to work with. Bring these up just a bit because we have to work this piece here out. And all you're going to do is push it out, push it out. And it comes out like so. Right, you're going to do the same thing on this side. You're just going to push it out. Now you're going to have to hold this side up a little bit because you've just lost all that weight distribution. Like I said, that the transformation really, I, I did not find fun at all. And you get worried, like, this piece should be die cast and not plastic because you do kind of have to force it on out. how difficult it is to get to. All right, so that's that. I'm just gonna turn it around so you can see what we're looking at. This piece up here just goes right inside. Pull it up though, all the way, so it's flush. All right, you want that to be flush. Looking like so, you're gonna wanna turn these arms like so. Okay, you want them to look just like that. Now this part really isn't shown well in the instructions, but you have to kind of bend this piece in really, really isn't shown well at all, but you have to, again, you have to fold this in, in like, up here. And it really just doesn't feel good as you're doing it. I, I don't like it, but like so. I forgot, there's a little tiny tabs in his forearms that you're going to pull out and they're going to lock into this black piece on his head so long as you did the arms right now if you fucked up they're not going to sink in and believe me i fucked up because i was trying to use those goddamn instructions and they are terrible all right so like so You're gonna bring this up. Like 
like so. You're gonna compress this down. So these pieces, be careful, they like to roll right in. And the head, the head you're gonna want to line up in there. If everything doesn't line right up, um, he doesn't sit flush, just so you know. And this won't sit flat. So I think I'm good. I don't think it's going anymore in. Like I said, it's very frustrating. This piece is going to slide up and tab. This piece is going to tab right in here. That's in there. That's that. This comes down. All right, and there's your upper body. To look like that. Now, if you don't close them down right, I feel like all I'm doing is stressing this damn thing. But if you don't lock them down right, um, this won't sit properly. So, there. And you gotta hear it snap. You have to. Right, next up is the legs. You're going to want to do these legs and these tab in. Not very securely. It tabs right into the slot here. But not very well. It's very loose. Once these are in, you're going to pull these up, flip these over push up over and in. again these tabs don't like to sink in you're gonna close his feet up like so I believe that there's wheels in there but I think for this mode we just keep it like this he has little wheels in here again doesn't like to it just doesn't like to stay tabbed in. There's little tabs in here that these legs are supposed to go into, but they don't really hold. I'm gonna put them on his back because you need a spudger for these, man. They don't. You, your fingers are not gonna take these little parts out. When you do manage to get these wheels out, you're gonna come over, you're gonna slide them, they're on a little slider. And you're just gonna put them back, back down to where they were, because it's very back heavy. Up, over, and down. So the bottom, they're gonna look like that. comes undone. Like it lives for it. Right, these pieces flip out and you've got him in microscope mode and this is it. This is what he looks like. He's very back heavy so it doesn't like to stay in place. However, it is very clean. 
you've got this piece works so this is fantastic looks up looks down not much left to right movement but it works and it's believable it looks a lot like the gen 1 toy so i'll give them props there but it's not fun and it doesn't hold together very well so it's okay yeah it's okay you're not going to put that in your detolf as the display piece no 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 way i know i wouldn't uh, next up i do have to turn him into his uh, i guess assault mode or his tank mode and uh, we're going to do that now pull this out rotate rotate and close them back up you're also going to seal that up We're gonna bring the legs down like so. You're gonna to wanna to rotate and seal them up again. The legs are undone and rotate these legs. Pop these out. Ultimately, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but these legs are gonna come out and they're gonna tab in to this piece here. But it just slides out there's absolutely no connection there so you're just gonna do that for the fun of it the wheels i'm just gonna close them up because there's wheels inside of his feet these come out it's it's very tough it doesn't feel like it wants to work if that makes any sense it's very tough but ultimately you're gonna fold that over like so I'm gonna bring this out it's so tight you, you almost feel like you're gonna break it bring this out and bring this out this pops out and there's a piece in here that if you don't have like pliers on you, you're just not gonna get them. I, I, I don't get how anybody's supposed to get these things out without a pair of pliers to close that up. So I'm, I'm just not gonna close it up. Sorry guys, it's just, this tank mode is just fucking miserable to be honest bring this up and, and that's his tank mode Th this does fill in but it's really hard to get the piece out and it just makes you really frustrated. You know, I get what they did, but it doesn't hold together. So it gets a big fat zero in my book for this mode. I, I think it's shit and would rather they did without it. Now, as for the figure itself, let me transform it back and we'll talk about that. All right, let's do this. Um, the transformation is fucking horrible. It is not fun. It takes all of the enjoyment out of this figure. If you're going to buy this figure and you're happy with just displaying in robot mode and don't need the puzzle of the transformation, don't do it. 
Um, just from transforming it to do the review for you guys, um, the amount of paint scuffs, I have chipping here, I've got scratches in here. Uh, it's just not worth damaging your figure um, for the transformation. It's not, it's not at all. Um, I'm very upset. I'm gonna reach out to X Transpots and just let them know about uh, the paint chipping and the difficulty. I actually had to take him apart to get his arms out of um, that tank mode because I felt that the uh, plastic was gonna snap. So I pulled out one of my screwdrivers and I took it apart and I, I, I'm very upset. So bottom line is really cool robot mode. It's beautiful. It looks like it jumped off the screen. Could use uh, you know, a more cohesive paint scheme. If you're gonna use the flat red, use a flat or a matte blue, not the sparkly blue. But other than that, robot mode is stellar. It's poseable. It looks the part, it does everything you need. The transformation is overcomplicated and pieces don't line up and hold together in the legs and the chest itself. The tolerances are just way too uh, close and you risk breaking this figure. So don't transform it, is all I'm gonna say. Uh, it, it's not worth transforming. Uh, beautiful robot mode, horrible execution on its transformation, and mediocre uh, alt modes simply due to them not holding together properly. Buy it if you need a Perceptor on your shelf. If not, there might be some better options out there. I'm sorry to put it that way, but I, it is just not a fun experience. He's gonna look great on your shelf as a robot, and that's how I'm gonna leave it. I got mine from Josie's store. Check them out in the link below. As always, check out my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics, down in the link below. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, please give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.